This is the man West Palm Beach, so let's say, broke into City Hall, stripped off most of his clothes, and left a bag of cocaine on the chamber floor. He is now behind bars. Investigative reporter Terry Parker first reported on this break in last week at six and tonight she has a surveillance video showing how the suspect got into City Hall and what he did next. Terry. Right, Felicia, because that is the big question, right? How did this guy open these doors locked on a Saturday morning? Well, this surveillance video shows it all. The undressing inside, the rolling around on the floor, the bag of cocaine in the chamber. And most of all, the surprising thing is how he got in. Police say this is Jake Machado walking down the hall towards city council chambers at five in the morning on Saturday, July 20th, banging on the chamber door and then going inside. No one knew Machado was there at the time. It was only two days later on Monday that this was reported by a city hall employee that was preparing the commission chambers for an evening meeting. What they found was um, quite odd. Police say Machado went inside the chamber, turned on the lights, and then began undressing down to his shorts. He then started rolling around the floor. Nearby was a plastic baggie with white powder, which he left behind when he left 30 minutes later. The powder caused officials to evacuate City Hall while they figured out exactly what it was. It was determined that that uh, white powder was cocaine. Police turned to surveillance video. How did Machado get inside the locked and empty building? They say video shows him acting oddly around the front doors for a while before grabbing the doors with his bare hands and forcing them open. He forced the doors open. Uh, that's how he got in and um, proceeded with his uh, rant. After his unusual behavior inside City Hall, police say Machado left, leaving his clothes and cocaine. He was in the City Hall for about 30 minutes. Uh, certainly uh, security and safety is an issue that we uh, that we take seriously. So uh, I'm sure that uh, that's being addressed. So police say after this, Machado eventually ended up at the tri-rail station naked. They tracked him down uh, just yesterday at a rehab center and arrested him. The reason they were able to find him is because they had that surveillance video. They put two and two together and said, oh, that was that naked guy at tri-rail that we went and saw the other day. At any rate, now they have to decide what to do about these doors. If a guy can just pry them open with his bare hands, what does that mean for security here at City Hall where you're not even allowed to come in without an appointment? I have reached out to the mayor's office and am waiting for a reply. Meanwhile, Machado faces two counts, felony counts of burglary and possession of cocaine. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.